Hey, what's going on, guys? Hex coming back into the Brandon video. And as always, down to the blow, we talk we're talking about today. And man, this episode, I'm hyped. Like, I am so ready for what's about to, you know, take place within this, you know, this game. You know, these games, Cyborg versus, you know, the Grimry household. I love it. I, I'm absolutely so excited, absolutely so excited to see what's actually going to, you know, transpire. You know, these next, what, three episodes. We got episode 10, 11, and 12, and then season four is over. So think about that. Enjoy what's, you know, going on here right now, you know. So we're really going to see what this animation can, all, you know, really be about right here. Is it better than TNK? Is it not better than TNK? We're about to find out. Oh, Team K did, I think, a good job with animation. I liked for the fights, it was impressive. It was a way, it's most definitely above average for a harem series. And I think that's what's one of the things that's made this series so good. And before I go any further, um, I really just want to say I love the detail of this episode. I love the detail of the games and how they work, you know. I love it. I love the rating games detail about, you know, each piece is worth a certain amount of points. And, you know, you roll the dice and the total amount of, you know, like the total number combined from the two dice after each king rolls them is going to determine, you know, how many people can fight. You know, which pieces can fight because each, you know, the pieces cannot be more than what uh, the total number is as you roll the two dice, right? And rooks are like five, kings can be eight, some can be 12, Star Wars 12, Issei is someone who's worth eight as well since he takes up all the pawn pieces, you know, so on and so forth. So that was really cool. I appreciate that detail. Even they went even further and said, you know, one piece cannot participate two times in a row. And, you know, if the king goes down in any way, it's, it's done deal. So whenever I saw that, I was just really cool. Detail tell that that's good that's the stuff that makes things even better when you go into detail and it's not just a you know just a straight up fight game you know it's not just a straight up fight game there's strategy you know strategy to it not like the riser game to where there's strategy but there is strategy because the game itself has little you know i guess little quirks within it that make it a little bit different from all the other ones but moving on to the next thing i really want to talk about with you guys is season three this happened in the anime original content which this is my favorite scene of the whole anime original season three content. And I knew they got it. You know, I heard some rumblings. I was like, okay, so that's season three anime original content was dictated by what was going to happen in or transpire later on in the actual source material in the light novel, you know, that was going to be translated into the anime. And that was when Issei was actually talking to Ross Visa, whoever Rius was actually gone. Whenever Rius was in the uh, the one realm, the one realm, whenever she you know was going through like the Red Dragon Emperor stuff, she had all the armor on and stuff. And um, she, I mean, he basically said he's like the reason he's monologuing to himself. I believe he's like the reason I don't trust girls, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to acknowledge how they feel. You know, I don't want to acknowledge how they feel about me is because I've been burnt before. It's all because of Rainier. He's like, I don't want to be burnt like that again, and that's so relatable because we've all been there, done that. I mean, shit, <laughs> I, I don't want to go too far into, it, but I mean, just yesterday for me, I uh, learned some crazy shit. So. Uh, <laughs> we've all been there before. How about that, man? So, yeah. And, of course, we do also get to see that Issei is catching on to how Rius actually feels about him, which is nice to see. I mean, it's about the same time. So I can't wait till he actually says something to her. And he, he he's now fully, I guess, open to how all the girls feel about him. I mean, they made sure he knew. So... Um, hopping on to the really, essentially, the next thing, uh, when did Riser Phoenix get so cool? Like, whenever he came in there and gave Rius that speech and everyone else was just kind of like, damn, he's badass, what the hell, w where was this? I mean, shit, this, was, this wasn't even in the OVA, he wasn't that cool. But, uh, freaking OVA is hilarious, and whenever they're at the spring, and East and him are training with the dragon. So, yeah, when did Riser Phoenix also get so cool? I did not see that coming, that's very odd. But, um, other than that, though, uh, this... You know, this arc is really good. I really like where it's going. I like the writing. You know, the whole comedy with the healing thing was really funny as well. I thought that was hilarious with the girls just all surrounding him. And he's just, just kind of like, what the fuck is going on? You know, he, he even he, him, Issei Hyoda, our main character, knowing him as well as we do, was just kind of like, what the hell is going on? So, but other than that, I believe I actually covered everything for you guys besides Lord Hades. And Lord Hades was cool to see. I love Greek. I love Roman mythology, which is initially the same thing. I think outside of a few gods, there's one that may have a few gods that the other one doesn't, like a very few, but usually it's just more along the lines of each god is in both Roman and Greek mythology, just they have different names, if you guys did not know that. I think I think Zeus is Jupiter in, in Roman, but, I th but he's in Greek, he's obviously Zeus. So, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's Jupiter in Roman. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure he's Jupiter in um, Roman. I'm not, don't quote me. 
Don't quote me. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to make a point that a lot that same people, different names, not for 99.9% of the gods. But um, yeah, it's cool to see actually one of the gods up close. Can't wait to see Zeus, actually. Cool to see Hades. Um, I guess the Welsh dragon and the Vanishing Dragon used to always fight down in the never ne nether, never, nether world. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's cool to see. Um, but other than that, make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, guys. Follow me on Twitter X25. See you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.